People wait in line for COVID-19 testing at Kedron Community Health Center on Wednesday, December 29, 2021 in Los Angeles, California Gary Coronado, Los Angeles Times, Getty Images. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention amended its controversial COVID-19 isolation guidance on Tuesday, declining to add a testing requirement as public health officials expected after the agency cut its recommended quarantine time in half. In its updated guidance, the CDC said people who have recovered from the virus and have isolated for at least five days can take a rapid test if they want, but they don't have to go falling far short of making an outright recommendation to get a negative COVID test before ending isolation. I do not think that the clarification helped at all and I actually think that it made things worse," emergency physician Dr. Leanna Wen, the former health commissioner of Baltimore, said in an interview with CNN. I think they should be upfront and say they can't do this because they don't have enough tests. The updated guidance comes after the CDC faced a barrage of criticism last week for shortening its recommended isolation period from 10 days without asking for people to get tested. If an individual has access to a test and wants to test, the best approach is to use an antigen test towards the end of the five-day isolation period, the agency said in updated guidance on its website. Many Americans do not have access to tests right now. Pharmacies are frequently sold out of at-home tests both online and in stores amid a dramatic spike in demand, and lines at testing sites are often hours long. The CDC, in its guidance, recommended that people with COVID isolate for five days if they are asymptomatic or if their symptoms are resolving. They should then wear a mask for five days after coming out of isolation. The CDC said people are most contagious two days prior to symptom onset and about three days afterward. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky said last week that up to 90% of transmission happens during that period. Walensky said the CDC did not distinguish between people who are unvaccinated and vaccinated in its isolation guidance because transmission peaks at about the same time regardless of immunization status.